Brando says doctors have probably harvested tissue from Jackson's ears, even his ribs, to try and rebuild the star's face. He believes Jackson probably doesn't have any ears left, and that's why he wears his hair long. I believe it's possible that that may not even be his nose. Dr. Brando believes Jackson attaches a prosthesis like this, and that accounts for changes to his nose in recent photos. According to this doctor, Jackson probably suffers breathing problems, which could make it tough to sleep. That sleep deprivation could account for his bizarre behavior. And all that plastic surgery may have impacted Jackson's career. I believe it affects the voice significantly. Eight months ago, I put a proposal to Michael Jackson. Show me the real man, but show me everything. Make nothing off limits. Michael Jackson's home Neverland is a 3,000 acre ranch inspired by the children's fairy tale Peter Pan about the little boy who never grew up. It's a multi-million dollar man-made slice of make-believe. It's literally paradise for a 10-year-old child. But Michael Jackson is now 44. Children's charities are rounded on Michael Jackson today for admitting in last night's ITV1 documentary that he sleeps with children in his room. Child welfare experts this evening who were especially concerned by Michael Jackson's revealing view of his complex relationship with children. Jackson was deprived of a normal childhood by touring and recording. His closeness to minors has left him vulnerable. His own judgment on these relationships is highly questionable. Now, John Stalker in the Mirror today says, um, everything about him shrieked paedophilia, although there is no direct evidence of it. The excuses, the rationalizations, the pleas of innocent child worship are a masterclass in delusion. Things that Jackson says are rather like the defenses that are used by paedophile men, uh, in particular the one that it is the children who seduce me, I don't seduce them. Is there any sort of general feeling that he may have landed himself in deep trouble here or not? Well absolutely there is. The documentary hasn't even aired here yet and already it's creating disastrous headlines for Jackson. Uh, one showbiz reporter that I spoke to said that it's hard to believe that he's managed to further tarnish his image. The district attorney's office, which investigated Michael Jackson 10 years ago over allegations of sexual abuse with a boy called Jordan Chandler, have said that they will be watching this documentary very closely. What happens when you spend eight months with Michael Jackson? Oh, boy. Thursday at 8, 7 central on ABC. See for yourself. No, no. It's Michael Jackson. From his obsession with his face to his strange relationship with children. The most lovely thing to do is to share your bed with someone. It's not sexual. To his own three children who you've never seen. Living with Michael Jackson. This interview is strange to some people out there. So, who cares, right? A two-hour event you have to seek to believe. ABC Thursday, 8, 7 central. Living with Michael Jackson airs this evening. These streets are going to be deserted. Fans and critics alike are saying they're going to be staying in to watch the program. With his reputation in America very much at stake, for Michael Jackson, it must be a nervous wait. It's a dangerous place for a vulnerable child to be. Now, I'm not saying that I saw any evidence of Michael Jackson being involved sexually with any children. Quite the contrary, he was very charming towards the children. But what I'm saying is that children who are vulnerable should not be going into the house of a billionaire superstar where they sleep in his bed. That is entirely wrong. Today I feel more betrayed than perhaps ever before that someone who had got to know my children, my staff and me, whom I let into my heart and told the truth, could then sacrifice the trust I've placed in him and produce this terrible and unfair program. His friends too are coming to his aid, including the mother of his elder children. He's a really wonderful, loving, caring man. And he's not portrayed as he really is. And it really me off. 
And Lisa Marie Presley appeared on L.A. radio station KISS FM's Rick D's in the Morning to defend her ex-husband. Eight months of footage, somebody following you around, condensing into two hours can be quite, you know, you can manipulate anything you want. Yeah. Sure. So I did just call and say, you know, dude, <laughs> that was messed up. Mm -hmm. Did you see the documentary? I didn't. I heard about it. Oh, it just, it just sounds so exploit, exploitive, so... I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like people humiliating other people like that. It doesn't seem right and fair. And he trusted. He trusted uh, Martin Bashir. He and um, it's just they took this thing back to the studio and they took a lot of things out and they and the way this thing was narrated, it, it, it was just not fair. Well, I think it's very important the Child Welfare Services in Santa Barbara investigate because. This, these incidents are alleged to have occurred at Neverland, which is his home, which is located in Santa Barbara County. And I think it's time to interview, for them to interview, each and every child who has been in Michael Jackson's bedroom or bed or in his home without the presence of their parents. The revelations were explosive. The ratings were enormous. But Michael has claimed that what TV journalist Martin Bashir presented was a twisted and edited construction of scandal and innuendo. In the next two hours, we're going to give you an opportunity unprecedented in the history of television. We're going to show you footage that was never intended to be broadcast. And as you know, Michael said that he had felt betrayed by Martin Bashir. So last night, Michael ran his side of the story on Fox. They called it the footage you were never meant to see. The issue is the children right. and Michael's right. perception mm -hmm. that sleeping with children as a grown man is okay. Right. right? And for him to say, for him to say that nothing is sexual is going on, that does not matter. Right. If nothing sexual right. is going on, that right. does not matter. Yeah. He was a great entertainer yeah. and now he has become yeah. possibly right. some kind of an offender, yeah. and I think we should investigate. If, I mean, come on, he said it. He said he's done this, so where are the officials? Come on in now. He's told you. Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? That's my question. If he's supposedly done this, come on out and get him. What are we waiting on? controversial singer was spotted at the Palm Beach International Film Festival. Reportedly, he's house hunting there, and reviews from residents are mixed. I'm not a great Michael Jackson fan. Let's let it go with that. He's welcome just like anybody else. Well, over the weekend, Michael was a mall rat in Miami. Michael visited the Aventura Mall in Florida last May. Now his return visit brings him to Walden Books, where he dropped a report at 10,000 bucks. He got lost a back, especially the camera. Closely guarded by security inside the store, Michael was mobbed as he was escorted to his car. You'll see Michael at home with his children. You'll be allowed inside the gates of Neverland for a reunion with the Jackson family and share personal, never-before-seen moments between Michael and some of the world's biggest celebrities. All tonight on Michael Jackson's Private Home Movies. Many people are wondering... Why would I put my private, private home movies on television? Well, I thought it was time to do so because many people have opinions about me and they haven't even met me. They don't even know me. So I thought it was time to open up to show them who I really am. I'm just simply Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. I've been out here for two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Three so. hours. When I see your face, I'm going to cry. It's the first time Michael Jackson has been back to Gary, Indiana since rocketing into the mainstream of the global collective consciousness. He's here to give back to his hometown, and they love him even more for it. I would like to officially, on behalf of the men and the women and the young people in the city of Gary, welcome back home. One of our 
greatest contributions to the world, Mr. Michael Jackson. Uh, and now that you have the key, you don't have to be a stranger. <laughs> Gary, Indiana is uh, an industrial steel mill town. And uh, it's, it's what, it's the equivalent of what Liverpool is in London. All nine of us lived in this two bedroom house. I was just a very little kid, and we lived on the street, believe it or not. The street was called Jackson Street. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is where Mother and Joseph slept, and Janet, when she was a little. This where all of us brothers oh, slept. All of us brothers slept. Were there, like, the bunk beds in here? Yep. And we doubled up. But in the living room, that's where we rehearsed every day. Right in that living room right there. Smooth uh, the furniture. Yeah. Joseph, Luther, Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, they would come over and have a jam session. I mean, my spirit is yeah, here. Yeah, it's right. It sure is. Yeah. himself and he's a he's a mystery man and I, I just find him fascinating and everything he does is, a, is amazing I just can't get enough of him. I was one of the few fans that got to meet you and sit in a limo and Gary and um, you signed my chest and I told you I was gonna get it tattooed and I got it tattooed. Hey it's his party and he'll gripe if he wants to and our cameras were with Michael on Saturday as he arrived at LA's famed Orpheum Theater for his 45th birthday bash thrown for him by his fans. It is your presence, your faith, your loyalty that has given me great strength during difficult times. You have children here. Do you have children here right now? You have children here. You have children here. But I'm not going to hurt you. don't have to worry. We have other people here. Okay, okay. He loves the fans. And he knows that we love him too and that we would do anything for him. I think people are just jealous. You gotta look at the man's heart. You look at what he does for the children, for people in general. I don't care what he does to his face. He has to live with that, you know? This is heart, that's what matters. He's a great entertainer. Take all the other crap. He's the, he's the best, he's the greatest. Tabloid junk. We need to burn all the tabloids. Well, Michael Jackson is career wise personally and professionally, has really become the punchline of a lot of jokes here. It's always been the joke, and ever since the allegations happened years ago, and his career started going downward, that he just isn't what he used to be anymore, and he's a little bit of a freak. Michael, why are you crying? Because you're right. I am a freak. as gracious as you are with your fans, who is as gentle and decent as you are, deserves the key to the city of Las Vegas. And at this time, I'd like to present it to you. Wow. Wow. I'm honored to be here tonight to introduce a music icon. He still remains the biggest selling recording artist in the history of music. The king of pop. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome and humanitarian Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael. 
you. You've won every conceivable award, so the RMAs had to invent a new one just for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the RMA Humanitarian Award to Michael Jackson. Seventeen legendary hits on one CD, plus the stunning new single, One More Chance. Michael Jackson, number ones, out now. Michael Jackson's number one hits, featuring Beyonce, Quincy Jones, Missy Elliott, Wyclef, and more. Including rarely seen performances by Michael Jackson and the exclusive world premiere of Michael's new song, One More Chance. Pop star Michael Jackson surrendered today to authorities in California where he faces charges of child molestation. Shortly after he was fingerprinted and photographed, the singer released a statement saying, Lies run sprints, but the truth runs marathons. The truth will win this marathon in court. Early this afternoon, Michael Jackson got out of a car behind the Santa Barbara County Jail in handcuffs. His lawyer said the singer is enraged. Uh, he considers this to be a big lie. He understands the people who are outraged, because if these charges were true, I assure you Michael would be the first to be outraged. Jackson had arrived on a private jet from Las Vegas. The plane rolled its nose into a hangar where Jackson got into a waiting car out of view of television cameras. He was taken into custody there at the airport. More than 60 investigators searched Jackson's Neverland Ranch for 14 hours yesterday. Jackson's lawyer says a 12-year-old boy claims he was molested there. Today, the local district attorney seemed almost gleeful as he spoke to the media. He tried to prosecute Jackson for molestation 10 years ago. The boy visited Jackson at the Neverland Ranch, and according to one source, he told a psychotherapist that on two occasions, Jackson gave him wine and sleeping pills. That could mean life in prison, and cases like this can depend on the testimony of the child accuser. In general, uh, the child will be able to recall and recollect with some detail the incident, and that is persuasive to a jury, even if it is the only testimony that is available. Jackson gave a wave when he was released after booking. He's scheduled for arraignment in January. I think it's all about money. It's all about money, and uh, we will see the truth in the end of this. What it appears is that he's actually abusing his own children by using them as, as just objects. Those little faces behind those masks, with those eyes looking out, you just thought, what is going on in their heads? The uh, felony complaint involves nine counts. Uh, seven counts of 288A in violation of uh, California Penal Code, commonly known as child molestation and two counts in violation of Penal Code Section 222 that involves administering an intoxicating liquor to a child for the purpose of committing a felony. Those are the nine counts. We sat down with Michael Jackson on Christmas Day at a hotel in Los Angeles. What is your response to the, the allegations that were, were brought by the district attorney in Santa Barbara that you, you molested this boy? Totally false. Before I would hurt a child, I would slip my wrist. I would never hurt a child. That British documentary last February, which you didn't like, you said in that documentary that, that many children have slept in your bedroom. You said, yes. as we sit here today, do you still think that it's acceptable to share your bed with children? Of course. Of course, why not? If you're going to be a pedophile, if you're going to be Jack the Ripper, if you're going to be a murderer, it's not a good idea. That I'm not. 
do, do you know how this looks to a lot of people? I mean, do you understand that? that you no, would... why? People think sex. Mm -hmm. They're thinking sex. My mind doesn't run that way. When I see children, I see the face of God. That's why I love them so much. That's what I see.